Hey there everyone, NJ Fossils here. I'm out hunting a creek in New Jersey, hoping to find some shark's teeth and some bivalve stein kerns. There's some really nice ones here uh, called Venericardia. We got a ton of rain the other night. You can see how high the creek is right now. It's crazy. Never seen it this high before. I'm hoping we're able to have some luck and maybe even just find one bank that's uh, exposed. One of those Venericardium shells that I was telling you guys about on the walk down here. There's this one on this side. On this side, there's a second little one. Uh, they're really abundant, so we'll see how many of them I take, if any, because I've already got a couple at home from some past hunts, and they take up a lot of space, so I don't want to take too many of them if they're not all that great. Just found this pretty nice snail on the bank. Uh, internal cast. Usually these ones break before you could find them at this size, so that's pretty exciting. It must have just washed out in the last rain. I just found the first shark tooth of the day. Let's find out if it's complete or not. Just see the point sticking out here. Oh, it's missing a lot of the root. That's too bad. The blade's in really good shape though. It's in good size, stratolamia. Um, this is a pretty decent one. It just has all that root damage. It stinks. So I just found this cool little bivalve. It's not a venericardium. Um, I'm not sure what it is yet. I'll have to do some research into that. And this cool little piece where here's the impression, here's the cast, so it fits in, like it covers it like that, and they still fit together. But there's the cast impression reverses of these two. So that's pretty cool. I'll probably take both of these. They're both pretty neat. Um, still only that one shark tooth. I might start sifting soon. We'll see. The inverts here are pretty cool too, so I'm happy with them. We'll see what we could do shark tooth wise also. I found this, which is interesting. I uh, have uh, no idea what it is actually, so I'll have to get back to you guys on what this might be. So I'll take it home, prep it out a little bit, and then uh, we'll see what it ends up being. Here's a really nice uh, blade of a shark tooth. There's no root. That is pristine. It's like flawless. Here's a cool little double imprint of the Venericardia. I haven't found too many great ones. A lot of them look like this and just individuals. So not the most successful hunt today. Uh, water was just still too high. Well, we'll see. We'll see what we got after we get back. Only two shark's teeth today. Uh, one snail and a bunch of bivalve impressions. Quick little hunt. Wasn't out here that long, but a little disappointed. Uh, hopefully next hunt's a little bit better. It was a nice day, a little, really hot. They aren't all gonna be uh, as successful as you'd like them to be. So that mystery block that I found out in the stream, I finally uh, chiseled it apart and I found this fragment of a nautilus. You could see these lines here that are all sort of radiating out from this center point. And they're all sort of following that same pattern. Those are the different chambers of the nautilus shell. This is my first nautilus from this site, even though it's just a small partial one. And uh, my first from this aged formation in general in New Jersey, so I'm really excited about this one. One of my favorite finds from this hunt.